Hey everybody, this is Sully, and I feel like crap about missing yesterday, but I thought I was getting sick, and then I was wrong. So, it's been almost three weeks, and I have not been flying, but I'm thinking I need to update this to one of the new beta flights, and I think I'm going to go with a four development. This is the UK65 running a Crazy B F3 FS, mm, what do you call it, FS flight controller, and uh, yeah... We're going to update that, run through the settings, and then take her for a flight. Because I got to get flying at some point. I really do, man. I'm like, I'm, 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 ah, man. Whew, if you don't fly very often, oh, man. Don't ever get in this hobby, because I swear, a couple of weeks will kill you if you are not flying some way. And here we go. In beta flight, at the bottom of your UK65 is your port. Plug in. My UK65 came with, let's see what we have. We have Beta Flight 3.4 is what mine came with. Target CLBF. So we are going to, I always like to back up just to make sure. Uh, yes, that will work fine. And I'm going to walk through all of the settings as they came, which is VCP. By the way, if you haven't seen, Envy Astro is hilarious. So watch his channel. He's good. He's really good. Dismissed. But anyway, USB VCP, TBS Smart Audio. All right. Config. I don't believe I changed the. Well, no, I did. This is stock default 4.5, but I bumped it a little bit. 8K, 2K is normal. Accelerometer. You don't have a barometer, so don't worry about it. Uh, SPI. This is the Fly Sky version, obviously, 2A. So I'll make sure to remember that. And telemetry, air mode, OSD, anti-gravity. Dynamic filter is not on, so I don't know about that. But I'm at 33%, so maybe that's why it's not on. Crash flip, cam connection, wow. All right. There's a lot of stuff there, okay. Power battery. This one you have to change, minimum cell voltages, yada yada. I'll remember that. Fail safe, don't care. I'm just running through these to get an idea of what is default, what I'll have to restore whenever I update. Um, and we might have to come back and watch this. Uh, modes I can set, motors, OSD, yeah, nothing else, all right. And so before I update, I always do a dump CLI, and that way it goes all the way through. I always copy the whole thing. It is now in a text document. So, now, getting ready to flash. We're going to hit BL. Enter. Reboot. Make sure you see DFU mode once again. DFU. Come down to firmware flasher. I am going to one of the... I like the development boards because I've had great luck with them. So we're going 4.0, number 1275 which has a lot of new filtering. Uh, probably not something you will notice on an F3 board and not something you'll notice on an F3 Crazy B mm, Tiny Whoop, but we're gonna try it and make sure. We're just gonna see how it works, so. Uh, lots of changes to it, mostly to the dynamic filters. Going to flash, hanging in here, erasing, boot. Make sure you have your version of the Crazy Bee. Mine's the Fly Sky. And if uh, you ever question it, just go to the site where you bought it from and it will tell you which one you need. All right, that was fast. Uh, unplug. I have a flashing light on my Crazy Bee. Unplug, replug. We should be good to go. Com9, connect. Multi Wii, Beta Flight 4.0. All right, arming disable. Now we're going to do restore and check my JSON. I did two backups. One was earlier, so open. Here's hoping that worked. Rebooting, successful. Open again. Now we just have to walk through everything, make sure we have some good stuff. All right, ports. 
Yay, TBS Smart Audio. That looks correct. Config. DSHOT 600, Smart, yada yada. 8K, 2K, 180. I need to set that. Keeping the same name. I do not want to do camera. Oh, cool. Good. It kept the RX, yada yada. If you want to do 3D mode, that would be funny. Uh, I am going to turn on dynamic filtering. Now remember, when you do this, make sure your CPO load does not go above 50%. So we'll see. I might not be able to keep dynamic filtering open. So let's see. All of that stuff's normal. Save and reboot. If my CPU goes too high, I will disable dynamic filtering. But I want to see what it does. And if it's worth it on... A tiny whoop might not be. Oh, 51, 53. Ooh, might not be keeping that. We'll see. We'll, we'll leave it and see. Uh, might be a bad idea. But it has telemetry, air mode, OSD, anti gravity, and dynamic filtering, arming, yada yada. Okay, so remember your restore does not, does not go to, doesn't restore your minimum cell voltages, so we have to do that. We're going to save this. Fail safe. Let's see what this is. 4100, that looks right. PID tuning. I almost want to do stock PIDs. Almost. I do want smart feed. I do want that. I term relax. Set point. Ah, anti gravity mode is smooth at five. I like having my pits here. I almost want to reset these. Uh. Go to filter settings. Ooh, gyro low pass is cut off. Is that supposed to happen? I get you, buddy. It's okay. Hmm. That's new. All right, we'll leave that off. When you do things like this, check your motors. So whatever you do, don't fly too much before you check your motor temps. I will leave these like they are. Wow, D on y'all is zero. All right. Uh, feed forward transition. Acro angle limit is now here. Cool. So I, I might turn acro trainer on so I can do 50%. Throttle boost. That's something I love. I like it in we go. I love throttle boost. Absolute control I don't worry about. Smooth 5 TPA. So remember when you do something like this, please, 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 please check your motor temps. Because I don't recall anything going with uh, low pass turned off. So we're going to see what that does. I've heard great things about the dynamic filters. But since I'm at 50%, I'm not sure how this is going to fly. So we'll see. All right, receiver, 1050, no dead bands, threshold. I like filtering if I can get it. Can I get it? Uh, roll pitch. Yaw filtering doesn't really worry me. Let's see. Oh, all right. They've done a great job getting more features into these F3 boards. So let's see. Receive. Oh, sweet. I don't know if that means it'll actually work, but we will see. Modes. Arm, angle, flip over after crash is aux 3. Launch control. Launch control. We have launch control. Holy cow. I've never seen launch control. Oh, sookie, sookie. Okay. Acro trainer I will do is 2. This is my 3 position switch, which is why 
Uh, yada yada yada. I love new versions of Beta Flight. They're just so much fun. All right. Adjustments, motors, OSD. Did you keep every? Oh, you did. Sweet. No, you didn't. Average cell voltage. <laughs> It does have a current, has a current sensor, which is kind of shocking for something this small. Please feel free to skip around. Like I say, sometimes I get into this without knowing what I'm doing. All right. Save. I believe that is going to do it. Just run through one more time. Shoot. Uh, double check settings. I think we are good though. So we're going to cut it here over to the actual flight. Thank you so much. And go. And we're up. And yeah, so far everything looks good. I tested this out just for a couple times um, very, very quickly to make sure the motors didn't get warm and they came down perfectly cold. So that dynamic filter didn't seem to uh, make anything heat up. Also, even though it's running at 50%, um, the 50% CPU mark, I was worried that would make things fly worse, but it did not. It actually flew amazingly well for me inside, which is not something I am good at yet. Obviously, tiny whooping is not my thing. I do like micro quads, but tiny is, whew, it's hard. Because these gaps are like a foot wide or less. And there goes my angel. Yep, so we are flying through, having fun. Trying not to hit anything. There's my dog, and he won't go out. This dog is like, he took my spot. So I'm going to try buzzing him again. Try and see if he'll get up. He did not. He will not get up. That's a cattle dog for you. They're a little bit stubborn. Uh, obscenely smart, but really stubborn. So he might look at me. I buzzed him. Got some air flowing over. Anyway, back to the flight. Uh, so yeah, obviously, this flies so well. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say other than 3.4 flew pretty well as good too. Uh, as far as noticing any differences, it might just be me getting used to the quad more. But it flew amazingly well. This is one of the first flights I've had that I could go the entire battery without hitting the ground or crashing or wrecking or dying or doing whatever. And uh, yeah, it's it's a good, I'd say do it, do it. Uh, Crazy B3, Crazy BF3 FS for the Fly Sky version. Um, I had to rebind, which took nothing. It was It was actually in bind mode whenever I plugged in the battery. So it was just waiting. And yeah, like I say, my dog won't get up and we're about to land here. I do get only two minutes of flight with this thing. So I'm actually going to hop over to the other flight I got. Yeah, so this is my second full pack with it. And like I say, it flew great. I, I tried the uh, launch control, but I don't know how to use it. So it looked like it, I, it, it didn't feel like it did anything. Also, Acro Trainer made it spin out. So I don't recommend Acro Trainer yet with the F3 boards, um, or at least this version on it. And it might have been just me not having good batteries. So I'm not going to say much about it. But it does fly really well. Um, this flew pretty much at, at, like I expected. I had a lot of fun. I got a flip. Now, I do not like that this 1S quad flips and rolls are difficult in it. Um, so you, you kind of have to jab the throttle way up and then catch yourself with a lot more throttle than you may think. And uh, I believe that, though, was the same at 3.4 as it was in 3.2 or in 3.5 or 
4.0. Sorry, getting all mixed up here. Anyway, like I say, this is just a nice little flight run around my living room, and um, I do enjoy it. I think I have a little bit of a jiggle, though, and I, that might actually be my frame has a crack in it. So if you see a jobble here and there where it looks like I'm, I've got a yaw twitch, I might. Or it could be my frame. I don't know. Um, I couldn't fly it straight enough to tell you either way. But one thing I did like is the fact that I can run into stuff, bounce off of it, never even land. Like I had two flights in a row, hitting everything, and uh, never had to do crash flip. But I will say turtle mode with the UK65 does work. It works fine. I do know that from first-hand experience. And yeah, so I'm just flying around here. And I get a consistent two minutes, um, but like I don't like landing at 2.7. However, it does go back up to 3.6 very quickly. Uh, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, there we go. 3.6, 3.7, somewhere in there. It, it charges just fine. And we are done. Thank you so much once again. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. If you know how to use launch control, let me know. Um, it's looked interesting. But that's a run through of Beta Flight 4, the latest development version uh, 1275. Let me see. 1275. And I want to thank you so much. Come back tomorrow and we'll have something new. Thanks.